All this done in the same manner that the prayers of ten just men once saved a city. And then the deeds, the prayers of the faithful will glorify the Father as peace and love will reign for those who love the Lord. Please watch on for the multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet. Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 12. The Prophecy of Edgar Cayce. Hello, I am White Witch Angela from Spellbinding, Buffalo, New York, USA, the hardworking people of the United States of America. Wish you courage and success in following your noble missions. In today's program, multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 12, The Prophecy of Edgar Cayce, we present Edgar Cayce's predictions about the Golden Age. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the Divine's guidance. And the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. In Edgar Cayce's prophecies about the present era, he frequently spoke of a golden age on earth. However, before the arrival of this golden age, like Nostradamus, he foresaw a period of purification involving natural and human-caused disasters, the latter born from the ignorance of humankind. Supreme Master Ching Hai has often mentioned this cleansing or screening period. Um, so, you see, like, the people who are uplifted by grace to a higher, higher dimension... It, uh, from this world, huh? Even though they uplift it to a higher place, but it's only by grace. So if they are doing something wrong in this lifetime, they still have to to pay for it. They still have to suffer to compensate. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they still have to um, like uh, pay with their lives or pay with their s sickness or something, or you know pass away during disasters, natural disaster or accident. But their souls has been saved, nevertheless. Hmm. Just the screening program. The screening process will always continue until at least humankind have changed to a better standard, you know, to the real human standard, you know, with love, compassion and peacefulness coexisting together. But uh, right now, the, the, the screening process still continues, although it's a little different degree uh, of intensity. But because humans always waver, so the result also changes. Sometimes slow, sometimes suddenly. I would really like to say, don't worry, be happy. 
But the truth is, we have to make effort to earn happiness on earth as in heaven. Tendencies in the hearts and souls of men are such that these upheavals may be brought about. Man is not ruled by the world, the earth, or the environment, nor planetary influences. Rather, it is true that man brings order out of chaos by his compliance with divine law. By his disregard of the laws of divine influence, man brings chaos and destructive forces into his experience. Wishamore 他们那些就是像神仙一样 Animals and humans still suffer due to the climate steadily rising. Yes, and yes. people, you know, the humans, don't do enough to stop it. I mean, to stop it quick. You understand me? Yes, yes master. master. It's like some wound is bleeding, and, and the doctors who has the equipment and, and, and has the knowledge to do it, and don't do it. Just, oh, never mind, you know. Never mind, it's just bleeding. <laughs> you understand me? Yes, Master. Uh, yeah, yeah, the humans, they are the doctors. Yes. They have equipment. They have knowledge. They have the power to stop this hmm. bleeding wound, which is the climate running, the running climate, the running climate change. And I don't know why they don't do it. <sighs> I really don't understand. I truly don't understand. I truly don't understand why even the government, they have so much power. Why don't they use their power and resource and tax money to, to, to spread more veganism, to spread more this news and to make more law, to make more, you know, not just recommendation, but law. Because if it's harmful to your citizen, then you should just forbid it. Yes, Master. If, if it's something harmful to somebody, and you know it's harmful, then you forbid, no? Yes, yes Master. The leader is supposed to lead, and the people will listen, no? Yes, yes Master. No, oh, I don't understand this. I really don't understand. Casey emphasized that some of these future events can be averted, modified, or delayed if humanity changes its behavior. And this was the purpose for giving out the prophecies, to warn people to improve so that the fate of the world can change accordingly. These following prophecies foretell events that we can relate to a varying extent to present-day changes and geographical upheavals, such as tsunamis, earthquakes, and rising sea levels. Looking back, we do see that some of these did happen, while others, thanks to divine grace, were mitigated.
Watch for strifes in the Indian Ocean. Ye say that these are of the sea? Yes, for there shall the breaking up be. The earth will be broken up in the western portion of America. The greater portion of Japan must go into the sea. The upper portion of Europe will be changed as in the twinkling of an eye. There will be the upheavals in the Arctic and in the Antarctic that will make for the eruption of volcanoes in torrid areas, so that where there has been those of a frigid or the semi-tropical will become the more tropical, and moss and fern will grow. And these will begin in those periods in 58 to 98, when these will be proclaimed as the periods when his light will be seen again in the clouds. Năm 1991, cũng đầu mùa hè của năm đó, tôi đi làm thợ hồ về buổi trưa và ăn cơm trưa xong đi ngủ trưa. Đến 2 giờ chiều, tôi tỉnh thức dậy và ra trước hiên nhà và bỗng dưng nhìn lên bầu trời về hướng Đông Bắc thì thấy linh ảnh của một vị đại sư xuất hiện trên bầu trời, hào quang của Ngài mà hoàng kim rất là rực rỡ, che lấp cả ánh sáng của mặt trời đầu mùa hạ. Một lần bước vào phòng của một vị sư huynh Tôi bàn hoàng đứng sững sờ như trời trồng Vì nhìn thấy trên tường có treo một bức ảnh của một vị đại sư Mà tôi đã từng thấy trước đây khi còn ở Việt Nam Tôi như bừng tỉnh và lắp bắp Em không biết Ngài là ai Nhưng chính Ngài là em đã gặp được qua linh ảnh Một lần ở trên bầu trời xuất hiện ở Việt Nam Sư huynh cho tôi biết Ngài chính là một vị Phật sinh ra tại Ao Lạc Việt Nam Ngài chính là Sư Phụ Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư I felt um, that today was a very magical day and very pure and very beautiful. I had really a marvelous experience on the way and there was a very special cloud that was extremely expressive in the sky and I just felt like it was already calling me to the, to the performance. It was magnificent to tie it all together. Um, the message of love and the message of veganism and also I sense her very very deep deep love and the amount of meditation she always does for us when these will be proclaimed as the periods when his light will be seen again in the clouds in the last part of this statement Edgar Casey referred to the return of Christ Casey emphasized that in the face of disaster or human conflict, we must have faith in Christ. But fear not ye that influence that may destroy the body, 
Rather, give praise and glory to Him who may save both body and soul to everlasting joy. Plan B is, in case we cannot rescue the physical lives on the planet or rescue the planet because human doesn't change their way of life, then to rescue the souls when they depart from this world so that they will stay away from hell, even the worst criminals. Wow. And I have enough spiritual merit to save aside whatever I have earned up to now, and that's enough right now to have the redemption of 10 billion people. Okay? Wow. Uh, Thank you so much, that Master. That is the whole world, the whole world and the future, because we are nearly 9 billion soon. A new order paves the way for the golden age that is in the making. Edgar Casey explains. A new order of conditions is to arise. There must be a purging in high places as well as low. are just a few examples. Others we can see everywhere in the media about different concerned aspects and various purges in our society which are sparing none even in the religious domain. Are we entering the period of preparation for his coming? Entering the test period rather. It's very sad but if people don't change there will be clean out in different way you know in disaster or in accidents or even in war, we have to change quick. We have to stop killing animals and killing each other. Then, then it's very quick the world will become heaven. Very simple. There's not much to do. Just be vegan, make peace. That's it. In 1935, Edgar Cayce was asked what thought could lead humanity to spiritual light and understanding. He too highlighted the need for love and peace. What taught thy master? Any new tenet? Love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and thy mind, and thine body, and thy neighbor as thyself, older than man himself, for this thought in its inception brought the world and man into being. Always remember God in heaven. Because this period is a period of grace now. And whatever you do will be paid, you know, rewarded hundredfold more. Your families and your pets and your friends and your neighbors, especially to God. Yeah? <laughs> we never forget God, yes. And our teachers, yeah, and our masters, you know, those who teach us spiritual uh, way of life. Yes, anyone who teaches us, we have to thank them all and love, love them all. And we love all beings on this planet. Of course, that's why we're doing what we do. Love yourself, love your family, love your neighbors, love all around us. Without love in our heart, we are almost nothing just a burden to ourselves, to loved ones, and society. Love is not a word on our lips. Love must be our feeling inside, and action translated outside. Love the animals, we be veg. Love the earth, we go green. Love the world, save the planet. I hope God will take into consideration our sincere prayers. Hmm? 
then we can save the planet. We will pause briefly and be right back after these messages. Welcome back to the multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 12, The Prophecy of Edgar Cayce. In one of his predictions, Cayce predicted the possibility of a united world and a renewed sense of spirituality all over the world. and that there would be a time when all individuals would realize their responsibility toward one another, a realization that could change the fate of the world. There must be the greater consideration of the individual so that each soul being his brother's keeper, then certain circumstances will arise in the political, the economic, and the whole relationships to which a leveling, equalizing, will occur, or a greater comprehension of the need for it. Until this world turns into paradise and peaceful everywhere, our job's not done, okay? Until the animals are free from suffering and respected as an individual beings from God, our job is not done. There are people still oppressed because they are poor, because they are black, because they are a different color, or because they are disabled, or, or because they are gay, or because they are lesbian, or because they are bisexual, until they are free until all of them are equally treated with respect and love. Our job is not done, okay? The refugees, the orphans, the elderly, nobody take care, the victim of disasters, of war, of oppression, yes? Controlled, no freedom. For them, you have to meditate also, hmm? Not just for you. You, of course, you feel safe and and good and ah, every time master this, do this, master do that. <laughs> it's not about you, okay, guys? Wake up, look around. People still suffer, animals still suffer. And the worlds are not equal, are not right. So don't think your job is done, eh, okay? You have more power now, so you have to work more. For he will walk and talk with men of every clime, and those that are faithful and just in their reckoning shall be caught up with him to rule and to do judgment, justice, for a thousand years. Master uh, said before that you're working on abolishing and putting an end to reincarnation. Uh, we are, we're wondering if um, there were any news about this that Master would like to share. Any result yet? Yes, yes, Master. Uh, no, I, I haven't gone to, to that yet. Uh. Well, maybe I'm just on the way, you know? Yes, Master. But it's not so fast. I'm not like uh, last week I told you, and this week, boom, kaboom, done. No, 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 no. no. Yes, I understand, Master. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just because I'm not alone. I carry, uh, you know, many people. 
And all they do is just the wanting things. Not many uh, diligently practice. Understand me? Yes, Master. Instead of, of helping, just want something from it. Uh, what to do? Uh, not as selfless and noble as I wish them to be. Even if I can break the reincarnation cycle, it's only for the worthy, for those who are wicked, working for Maya to oppress others, etc. They will not benefit from the freedom of reincarnation. But on the contrary, they must pay their debt accordingly. Since her youth, the Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled all over the world and resided in various countries, such as Germany, the United States, Taiwan or Formosa, and Costa Rica to name a few. Our association members living in those countries have noticed that wherever she walked and interacted with the people, positive developments would follow. Taiwan, it's a free visa for three months. Yes. Come and go from Taiwan to here, like supermarket. All the disciples really believe that's because of your blessing and grace. And then go to in England six months. Yes. Oh, I couldn't even dream about it myself, you know. <laughs> ah, surprise. Yeah. See that? Many countries still have problem with visa. You guys, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I've been there a long time, eh? Yeah, yeah. you you a long time. Long, long time. Yes, yes. Mm. Master, uh, did your marriage to a, a German doctor in the past bring blessings to the country of Germany? You think it does? Well, we see that um, Germany is prosperous and strong, whereas the, the other European countries' economies are in recession. Germany has the lowest uh, unemployment rate in Europe, and uh, it's the fourth largest economy in the whole world, so it's very prosperous. Yeah, and it's powerful, eh? Yeah, yeah. it is. It does have some effect, yes. Wow. wow. Yeah. But don't tell anybody that all the country men won't come marry me. Huh? <laughs> 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 I don't have time. Yeah, it's not just marrying only, but it's the way that country people treat me, treat the master. Oh, I see. So um, I can see uh, maybe observably Taiwan is good, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Vietnam has uh, become good. Yes, yes. England, yes. yeah, UK also strong, powerful. Uh, America, yeah, strong yes. and powerful. Of course it has some karmic payback, but, uh, you know, overall it's like that. I understand. Yeah. Even Costa Rica, not a very rich country, but it's very peaceful and and uh, stable. Yeah, I've been there for a long time. Eh? I have a house there. I have a piece of land there. <laughs> Still have. And it become a center of meditation. For example, eh? This America of ours, hardly a new Atlantis, will have another thousand years of peace, another millennium. All this done in the same manner that the prayers of ten just men once saved a city. Yo 
啊，教教导他们，嗯、啊，也是算一种嗯由来由去的啊，报答的，嗯、哎，一两个人做福报而已，整国家就会会有那种收获，嗯、啊。一个人一两个人做业障的话，也是同样上凡的。And then the deeds, the prayers of the faithful will glorify the Father as peace and love will reign for those who love the Lord. Don't miss the next part of our series as we explore more amazing predictions from the past. Coming up next is Victor Truviano, Breathing in Life, Part One of Two. Right after noteworthy news, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We wish you a wonderful day filled with inner bliss, celebration, and delights. For more details on the prophecies of Edgar Casey, please visit edgarcasey.org. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com/ap. forward slash